Hey everyone, my name is Rob, and my intention for this channel is to create content for ChatGTP and its specific uses in consulting and in business. I love consulting and I love technology, and I used to be a former teacher, so that's why I put together some material to help us understand what ChatGTP is, and also to some ways that we can use it in our career. Because I've been pretty surprised that there's people both at the client um, and within my consulting company that don't use ChatGTP, let alone know what it is. So. Like a good consultant, I've put together a slide deck to share with you today. So let's go. So what is ChatGTP? Well, you've probably went to a website in which there is an automated customer service and you've written in a question. Now, the thing with ChatGTP is that it is hyper intelligent. It has a lot of parameters, um, which makes the information that it puts out very nuanced and very precise. So much so that Bloomberg uh, in a recent article had mentioned that it was, you know, it was doing some passable human knowledge work. So pretty cool. Now you might be thinking, Rob, okay, that's interesting, but I want to see it in action. Well, let's go. Let's talk about some of the use cases. So the first use case that you could be using it for in consulting is content creation. Um, so let's take a look. I'll go to ChatGPT now and let's demonstrate content generation. So we can write, um, Please write a 300 word proposal, uh, uh, change management proposal for a software engineering company. So something very basic like this. And you can see within seconds, it's already spitting out information. Pretty cool, eh? You'll notice that when you start a new chat, your chats will be on the left-hand side. So if you have different topics or different themes that you're working in with your chats, they will go to the left-hand side. Uh, so let's go ahead and play with this information. Please make the above into bullet points for a PowerPoint slide. Now, if we have communications, for example, let's say that we're getting stuck on creating a Yammer post uh, and we want inspiration for that, uh, just as a, a different topic, let's go ahead and make a new chat and say, um, please create a post for Yammer that announces the launch of a new uh, SharePoint website. So you can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read. And this is this is pretty nice. I have to say, it's pretty nice. Now, the thing with ChatGTP is that the more precise that you make it, the better quality answers and outcomes you'll receive. So we had this, let's create a post for Yammer. Let's be more precise now. Please create a post for Yammer um, for a uh, marketing community within a banking organization that announces the launch of a new SharePoint website that enables co-creation of marketing content. Great. Keep in mind that when, if we put in generic information, we'll get a bit of a generic output. Now, the second big thing that I find very cool is that you can configure information. So we saw earlier in an example in which I asked ChatGTP to uh, reduce and condense the proposal that it had written into bullet points for a PowerPoint presentation. Now, yeah, we can go ahead and go one step further and say, please make a table regarding the content above. And let's see if it works. Perfect. The only thing that it cannot do is then to create a visual of this. Yeah, for any pie chart or bar chart creators, unfortunately, you still have to stick with Excel. So let's talk about Excel. Um, for some Excel junkies, you will know the entire library of Excel formulas and know how to make macros. For those that are less familiar or less comfortable with Microsoft Excel, ChatGTP is a great tool to use and get inspiration from. Let's take a look.
here we go. Instead of struggling to find or to Google and go through a lot of you know, SEO optimized pages that don't necessarily give you information, here it gives the formula of concatenate and then it tells you how to use concatenate. Now macros, you can say write a uh, VBA macro to pull information from a local address book and verify with an email address in Excel. There you have it. It has a VBA macro down below that you can easily click copy code and then input into Microsoft Excel and it will tell you so the macro loops through an email address in column A and da, 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 da. If the email address is not found. It, uh, it will fill an email address not found in address book. Easy peasy. Nice, eh? And lastly, one of the, yeah, I think one of the most important uses for consulting that I've found so far is information on certain topics. We know in consulting that oftentimes we need to be subject and matter experts very quickly on a topic or at least have some base knowledge of a topic. And this is where it is fantastic. So for example, in a new chat, um, please tell me all about how SAP finance works within the context uh, legal organization. So it will tell you all about SAP Finance or SAP FI, and this has been really helpful. I think especially if you're a new consultant or analyst and there's a lot of yeah jargon, there's a lot of um, acronyms that are being thrown at you and you don't necessarily understand them, I would really recommend just taking a look with this and then of course verifying. Now, after we have looked at some of the uses of ChatGPT, I will say word of caution for those that are using it, primarily analysts um, and junior consultants, I would say that you want to trust the information, but of course tweak it. Now the information is from 2021 and older. So any new information from 2022, 2023 is not in the system. So for example, if you are writing a report on the British uh, monarchy, it will still have information that will assume or will write in a, in a point of view that the queen is still alive. So you always want to be not fully trusting the, the information, but making sure that you tweak it. Now this also lends itself to not copy and pasting. There is AI detection software, so it would be, yeah, it would be such a shame that if you copy and paste something and then it's posted on a client website and then people on the internet are like, wow, this report was just generated by AI. And then the last thing is always please, please, please remain critical. So use critical thinking. Don't use this to make major decisions. And because we have cross industry experience and knowledge, which, you know, which helps us really contextualize and nuance information that we get from chat GDP. Now upcoming trends. This is super interesting. So I released a video for my consulting firm internally uh, back in November. And, the, and one of my, yeah, one of my predictions was that Google and Microsoft entering this space. So uh, my Microsoft has has added uh, a component to Bing and Google had released Bard. And when it comes to future trends, I think I'm just very curious in this space as to the human component of how people will implement this in their daily lives. I can imagine that Gen Alpha, Gen Z may use this instead of Google, especially with a lot of kind of uh, the SEO content that we see in Google, that we see on Bing, which can make it hard to find information just very quickly. And I'm also very curious to see how companies will implement this. I definitely predict that companies will implement their own internal version of this. And I can imagine that there's probably gonna be a lot of implementation projects in the next few years in this space. So change management consultants, I think we got some work in front of us. Now to continue on some of the future topics that I'm really looking forward to covering with y'all is a deeper dive for use cases for consulting. So I, I touched on it very lightly today, especially Microsoft Excel, um, content generating. I also too am looking forward to discussing the competitors. So looking at the difference between Bing and ChatGTP and also to looking at the topics associated with this technology, sustainability aspects. And lastly, I'm looking forward to making videos each weekend that will have the latest and most up-to-date information in this space. But that's it from my end. Uh, thank you for watching this video today. Thank you for visiting my channel and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend.